So there is a weird part about this monitor because it looks. So right now, I, so right now this monitor looks a little bit wrong. It's a little bit yellow. Um, the color temperature looks a little bit too, too low. Like. So right now the monitor looks a little bit wrong. I have no idea. Right now it's at sixty five hundred Kelvin. This is most monitor should set at sixty five hundred Kelvin, but. The color looks pretty wrong, like the Kelvin number is pretty pretty high. So um, I found if you change the color temperature to user, the color looks mm, better. <laughs> I don't know. If you want really really accurate color, maybe you should just use hardware and calibrate and put some LUT inside this monitor to correct the monitor color that kind of stuff but out of the box if you want a better color just change the color temperature to user Yeah, so pretty much the same. So the function pretty much the same. We have all kinds of waveform. So we have I just So the function is pretty much the same. So the monitor function it's pretty much the same. So the monitor function is pretty much the same in 2022 because all kinds of waveform all kinds of weird vector scope anamorphic disk squeeze or kind that kind of weird function any freeze picture yeah we have freeze picture so pretty much the same i have no idea maybe i just call out all the functions so we have all waves parade vector histogram focus assist audio meter the audio uh, right here and zebra zebra just tell you um, any highlight clipping in your video monochrome so you can use oh <laughs> so you can choose between gray green red green blue so just mono color false color you can check exposure mmm but if your camera have that kind of exposure function, you should use the built-in camera function because these monitor, cheap monitor, these vector scope or these exposure helping function is just not that accurate. So nine grid, if you like this cute nine grid, <laughs> you can turn it on safety marker center marker mm, center marker is pretty useful marker map what is marker map okay so yeah different aspect ratio marker map so marker map yeah hdr this hdr doesn't improve your dynamic range or what it just use kind of like put a log video and put a lot on there just built in lot that kind of stuff 
So we have high log gamma P3709 and, and what? 2020 and P3, I think. Hmm? Where's the P3? Yeah, P3. Aspect ratio and morphic D squeeze 1.25, 1 1.5, 1.6, 1.8, 2.0. Wow, what the heck is this? 2.0 magnification. So, auto mirror, just turn your monitor upside down. It will just turn your monitor upside down by itself. Zoom time. What is zoom time? Just zoom in, freeze, freeze your image. Yep, and pixel to pixel. Okay, so if you want to zoom in your video, zoom in your footage, just pinch your, yeah, this is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, pretty, pretty simple to use a monitor. I really love this video world UI because you have a quick menu to open all kinds of useful stuff you need to turn on and off all the time. Like all, all wave, you have vector scope, waveform, and all kinds of meters you need to use on set in vector vector just vector and parade just parade audio meter that kind of stuff histogram focus assist these awesome cool functions under so you can just quickly open and close these functions you don't need to double tap into the menu to change any settings this cool little little quick pop-up menu is pretty good so I think Pretty much. Yeah, so I think that's all.